Good morning. Yes. Y'all thought I was playing with this, but I'm being consistent every day. Yesterday, we shot Swaggy Peace Podcast, episode 37. And I'm right here in the car, just editing it, putting it together. Now, remember, there was my main camera, and then I was using Bebel's camera on the right and on the left to get uh, close-ups of T. Young and then Adrian and, and Mike. But guys, tell me why right now... Well, last night, actually, I'm importing all the footage, you know, getting everything organized so I could just get to it. With my work, I it's all about being organized. If you're organized, you're going to be able to knock out the edits faster. Again, I've been editing and filming since 2011, so even the way I dish out my content for YouTube... It, it doesn't really take a toll on me. Some people are like, I need a, I need an editor in China. I need an editor in India. Like, bruh, some of the best editors is right here in Hollywood, California, brother. If, if you're having trouble with your content, call me. I'll make sure to speed it up for you. Because if you really know what you're doing, you can run through this shit in seconds. But it all has to be organized. It all has to play its part. It's like a big, funny circus. It's like, man, scam likely. The minute I get to talking the scam, the scams he going. Yo, marketing in 2025 is a whole nother thing. But that's a whole nother conversation. But what I'm trying what I'm trying to say is it's important to have all your stuff organized because it all falls back on you. Whoever hired you, they're gonna blame you. And it doesn't matter if you brought 20 other people. If those 20 other people do anything that does is not correct, guess who it falls on? You. So when you're hiring people and people are doing a job that could put a bad name on you, you got to make sure that they're on their shit. You got to, because I'm not saying my boy Bebel wasn't on his shit. He, he, he was there on time. He brought his equipment. We got to work in. But guess what? For some reason, from one of his cameras, the footage didn't import. It didn't copy over at all. And... I personally know what it is, but I have to find a reasonable way to t communicate what he did wrong without attacking him. Because if you attack anybody and you're like, hey, bro, you did this wrong, blah, blah, blah. It's a lot of pressure, bro. And guess what? I deal with the pressure on a daily basis. And as the team captain, I love the pressure. But people that aren't there with that type of shit, the pressure, they might take it different. So the way I communicated with him is going to be like this, for example. Hey, bro, yesterday, your SD card, you have a bunch of different jobs that you have on an SD card. Side note, you're not organized. My SD card, I have enough footage and memory space to film a lot. But that doesn't mean when I'm doing a job, I have all the other jobs on the SD cards. Because you never know at the job where you're at, how long you're going to be filming or if you're going to need that extra memory. So every time you film, you got to create a nice foundation where you go, drop all your footage in a folder, label it by the day, and then erase the memory cards on your camera. That way you're ready to go film. My boy Bebel, for as long as I've known him, he always does this shit. He never deletes the stuff off the memory cards and i get it maybe he's afraid that the client for another project might be like hey that footage you have can can you send it to me or can you re-edit something so i get it but you don't have to keep that freaking memory in that memory card get it out of the memory card put it on a laptop on a desktop t t label it and put it in that folder so if people ever hit you you have it on the folder on your desktop you don't have it on the memory card in your camera because that's the freaking issue he before you film anything any day if you're filming you need to reformat the sd card when you reformat an sd card the sd card and the camera are communicating with each other the camera is converting the sd card into a memory card that can read the files that are coming in from this camera a lot of times people that have sony's or canons they use the same memory card in five different cameras but guess what all those cameras have different codecs so when you go to try to film something the codecs aren't going to match up because that memory card is still on a codec to another camera not the one that you're using so you might be there filming thinking you're filming the whole podcast but in reality you're effing your homie that brought you on this project because you're not even capturing the content because when i went home to import the footage it wasn't there it was invisible 
So I'm allowing this situation to happen to be a lesson that you all can learn from. E even if you're the, the main guy on a project or if you're just the guy that they're bringing onto a project. Always make sure your shit's on point because guess what? People that are inviting you to be on these projects or inviting you to be part of something that they're creating, we're counting on you. And if I can't count on you, I'm going to replace you. And as simple as that, bro. And I could, I could easily go buy two cameras and just keep doing this by myself the way I've always done it. But anything in life is more fun. It's more fruitful when you bring other people on board and help them grow in the process. So guess what? This video, I'm going to send it to Bebel. And he's going to watch it and he's going to learn. Because these things cannot happen anymore if, he's still, if he wants to continue being part of the project that I got going. Because if you're my shooter, a shooter is somebody that has a camera that films you and film stuff that you do and you feel me if you're my, one of my shooters you got to be one of my shooters we got to come into these projects militant because bro i don't got time for fuck ups i got clients that really depend on me i got clients that this ain't they 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 hobby these, these i got a list clients that need these a list products to go make a list moves you understand so you got to come correct. Always check your equipment. Always make sure everything's on point because at the end of the day, you're only fucking yourself. You're fucking yourself out of opportunities. You're fucking yourself out of people trusting you. You're fucking yourself out of people looking at you and saying, damn, this nigga doesn't take his crap serious. When somebody looks at my camera or even goes through my folder or even goes through my footage, they know, damn, this guy knows what the fuck he's doing. For example, at my house, the old people that was remodeling my crib, every day I'll be like, hey, what was the progress today? Hey, what was the progress today? Oh, boss, we did this, we did that, we did this. Okay, three days of that, enough's enough. You guys are fired. So the old guys that were working on my house, they, they were shocked because I, well, I'm an actor. I, I, I'm going to play the situation how I need to play it to get the result for me and my family that we need. The whole time, the old guy that was working for me at my house, he thought everything was cool. Because I'm the type to bring breakfast. I'm the type to get you lunch. I'm the type to get you your little, your little, you feel me? Whatever you need. I, I'm going to get it for you because you're working on my house. I need my house to come out perfect. But if I'm noticing you not A-list material and I'm paying A-list price, nigga, you got A-list fired. And that's the thing. When I fired him, he was so confused because he thought we was cool. And guess what? We cool. But we not cool for you to be over here fucking my house up, bro. And that's the same thing when it comes to my business. We cool, bro. But when I'm bringing you on projects and you not delivering, I don't know how you expect to get paid or I don't know how you expect me to bring you again. Because when I'm bringing you on, I'm trusting you. You get me? So anytime you're doing anything with me, I don't care if I don't care who you are, whoever, whoever's watching this. Anytime you do anything with me, Come correct, bro, because I'm paying attention. And if I'm paying attention and you come and correct, tsh, sky's the limit, my nigga. Sky's the limit. I used to have one of my homies. His name's Lewis. A lot of people say all type of shit about Lewis. And guess what? At the end, long story short, our friendship ended however it ended. But guess what? In the process of the time where this nigga was with me, he was came correct. He came so correct that the other shit people were saying about him, I didn't care. Because he was, he was delivering. He always had my back. He was always on point. You get me? Being on point goes a long way, bro. People don't always want to fucking carry other people's baggage. The reason I've been working since 2011 with this shit is because people could count on me. They know for a little bit of money, they go get a lot of money quality. And that's because I care about all the little things I do. And when you care about all the little things I do, that's the type of result you get. But if you just lazy with it, you're not formatting memory cards, you have other projects. Like, bro, we was on set yesterday and I see Babo deleting shit off that camera. He was deleting shit off that camera for like 30 minutes before the podcast even started. And no disrespect, but it's like, bro, why is there even footage in that camera? That camera needs to be ready to film an hour long podcast right now. You understand? But Babo right there couldn't even reformat that camera. Because he has other footage from other jobs he doesn't want to delete on there. He's been doing that for the last, like, five years. That's always an issue with Bebo. He never has space. So me, as the person that brought him on, is like, fuck, bro. Are we still going over these damn, these, these same issues? This shit is not okay. 
Because what's guess what? When I go back to Swaggy P and be like, yo, P, my bad. The camera on the left that's supposed to get Adrian and my it's not it's my bad it's not there it's a um, the the something happened with the files now I'm lying and I ain't about to lie to my clients bro they treat me well I do right by them so that's level one now in life when you mess up people's gonna value the person that goes. Damn, dog, my bad. That's what happened. It won't happen again. Because that means you're taking credibility. And that means next time you were, you're going to remember this time. So the odds of you messing up again are very sl they're slim. And if they're slim, that means you're at least working to getting better. But when I hit you up, bro, and I tell you, bro, the footage isn't here. And, bro, he hits me with this one, bro. He hits me with this one, bro. It's got to be in one of the folders. Import the SD card in your computer and check all the folders. Like I didn't do that, right? We would, we was for sure recording and those are the only memory cards I use. It's there. So now, it's like, come on, my nigga. That's it. And, and this is my boy. Y'all go, y'all gonna see Bebo around. This is my nigga. This is my homie. So, it's not like I'm coming after him or nothing. But I, I, honestly, my nigga, you gotta fix this shit. And when you fuck up, just take credibility. Cause, bro, I deal with content. I got 20 SD cards in here, bro. The fact you didn't reformat the card is why the hour-long podcast you shot on that camera and memory card didn't register. The memory card is confused. You have a bunch of other shit. So it didn't save, bro. So I, I I I I have it here for you, bro. Just please, man. Anybody watching this, learn, learn, learn. Because when you got somebody like me, when I see you growing and trying, I'm, we go keep we go make it to the top. But when you fuck up, and now I'm trying to tell you how you fucked up, and you you say it should be there. It's the only memory cards I use. Do you see how you're not working to fixing this for the future? Because what's done's already been done. Yesterday's podcast is fucked. I'm only gonna have I only have two cameras, two angles I'm editing with right now. But guess what? I'm still gonna make it happen because it's all me. But all right, y'all. Today is November 26, 2024, and this is where we're at. I still don't know what's on the block for today. What I gotta do, but just know. I'm going to finish this podcast. I'm going to finish editing this. And then I'm going to continue posting those old social media funny videos from my Instagram onto the onto YouTube because I'm noticing the traction is happening the way my game plan was kind of put together. So if you watched yesterday's episode, remember what I was talking about, about how I'm, you know, what I'm doing with the content and shit. I'm doing that. So I'm going to edit this podcast. Then I'm going to get back to that. And then I'm going to try to get like a workout in or something because... Bro, this type of stuff is stressful. It takes a toll, bro. But me, I've been doing this so long. I know how to balance the lows with the highs, bro. So I'm going to make sure I go do something that keeps my energy high and just positive because I know the power of frequency. You get me? Even right now when I'm sharing, the reason I just dumped it all and I shared it to you guys the way I, I would do it to Bebo, that's why I'm not afraid. I'm not talking behind nobody's back. Because when uh, Bebo, he's going to hear this speech. He's either going to see it on this video or he's going to see it in person. This is my boy. You feel me? But what I'm trying to tell you guys, even as a boss, when things go bad, correct them, fix them, bow, shoot back to the ceiling, shoot back to the highest frequency you can. Because when you keep yourself at that frequency, you can make millionaire things happen. Like, and when I say millionaire things happen, you things that millionaires deal with on a regular, you get to make that happen for yourself because your frequency is on millionaire vibration. You get me? I know I might sound crazy and I know I might I, I, I might sound like a witch or something, but guess what? This witchy shit works. And on the planet we work live on, it works. This is just the way things move, the way things tick. So make sure to keep your frequency high. So besides finishing this podcast, I'm going to get back on that hustle with the social medias, posting them on YouTube, TikTok. I told you all my plan. And then after that, I'm going to try to get a good workout because it keeps your frequency up. It keeps your frequency high. And if your frequency is high, you're going to move and act as if you have the things that you want. 
And if you're doing that, you're attracting the things that you want because you're on the vibration of that thing because that thing knows no different. That thing says you're vibrating on its vibration. It's coming towards you. Have you ever seen a magnet and metal come together? It's like that. Again, I'm going to just keep dropping my gems. Whoever picks it up, picks it, picks it up. But that's my plan for today. And um, I'm going to get right to it. Up on Bebo. Just pulled you know up on Bebo. We out here on the block with it. You feel me? Catching some traps. Busting some plays. You feel me? Catching all the fiends out. Shit. Just get into the bag. You feel me? You about to take a trip where? Where you going? I'm about to go to New Haven, Connecticut, man. You know what I mean? Pistol wave in New Haven. You that's, feel me? that's where you from? Shit, man. For, fair side. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yo, so uh, how you feel about your memory card not, uh, not importing? Shit, nigga, that shit was that shit was recording. You saw that shit recorded on the camera. But it's not Wait. in the memory card. It's not the memory card. I gave you the memory card. What other memory cards do I have? I, now I feel you gave I'm, me the I'm memory card. It. I'm gonna find it, take a video, and I'm gonna show it to you. You you, you, you show it. Sure, you you, out here on the out here post it up. I got the laptop. I'm gonna give you my laptop right now so you can look for it. Let's try to find that motherfucker. I want you to find it. Let's try to find that shit. You feel hey, me? but any a, a, any any camera or SD card issues ever happened to you in the past that you just you, you know you just gotta take an L sometimes and just man, you gotta just feel me. Stay positive no matter what, man. A lot of L's happen, man. A lot of L, a lot of people take L's, they L's differently. As long as you take them with a a, a, a chin up, you feel me? That's it. Don't ever fall down. Just get back up. That's right. That's right. Stay gifted. That's right. Yeah, I'm going to keep you posted on when we film it again. But yeah, you might have to get a new memory card or, or something. We should just get memory cards for... Fuck my memory cards. We just invest and buy some new memory cards just for the podcast. We have specific memory cards just for the podcast that you could keep. You don't gotta, you don't gotta give them to me, back to me, nothing. Every time I pull up with the cameras, we pop the memory cards in there, and they're already ready. That's it. You feel me? We invest. We invest it to ourselves. Invest to our future. That's the solution. That's the solution. Let's do it. All right, bet, bet. When so you I don't get back, worry about formatting nothing. And I'm gonna I mean? format them for you. That's it. I'm a format for you. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm a buy, that's the solution then. I'm going to buy the it. two memory cards, and then you don't even got to worry about it. We won't that's have it. memory card issues. Let's get it. Let's get some new memory cards. All right, bet, bet, bet. Now, yeah, I, I, I was I was filming the process, man, because, you know, niggas, got, niggas can't keep falling for this memory card issue. So that's, that's going to be today's episode, memory cards. You know what I mean? Shout on the YouTube. To, shout out to all the, all the fucking, you know, Videographers out there making it happen. You feel me with memory card issues? That you know they pull up, they forget their batteries, they forget their memory cards. They pull up, they think they got their, they think they got their shit, but they don't. Shit happens. You gotta, you gotta make it happen, and, and, and learn from your mistakes, and just make sure that you just evolve and just get better. And with That's that it. said, when, when, when are we gonna get you on the Mastermind Alliance podcast, bro? Let's do it, man. Sure. As soon as I come back from New Haven, we're going to make it happen. This, this, The end of this year, the end of 2024, there will be an interview. Not there for sure. There will be a podcast. Whatever you want, we're going to make it happen. Uh, Let's do it. We're going to make it happen. That's it. Yes. Yeah, make it happen. Start start thinking of the 10 things, bro. You got you got to have Let's 10 go. things I'm you want. you start motivating y'all. You feel me? I'm going to start having y'all think differently. Because a lot of y'all, y'all just... All y'all worrying about is the stuff that's not important. You got to worry about what's really important. And you're going to find out when we when we shoot. From we're going to find out when that day comes. That's right. From the, sure. from the nigga that S SD card don't work. You feel me? <laughs> Shout out Nestor, though. You feel me? Makes it happen. Uh, nigga, I'm filming nah, the journey, nigga. I'm filming the journey, dog. Let's get it.